Okay, in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about navigation and how to pin any file or any folder to the Windows 8.1 taskbar. Now, as you know, if you pin my uh, the Explorer, the file Explorer to the taskbar, when you click on it, it will either open up to this PC, which is the new name for my computer, or it will open up to the libraries. Now, the way you can configure it to do whichever one you want, it'll, it defaults to one or the other. So right now I have it defaulting to this PC. If I wanted it to default to libraries, I would go to View, then Navigation Pane, then Show Libraries, and now when I close this and click on this uh, file explorer link it opens up to my libraries and will every time so that's the way you do it if I want to turn that back off the navigation pane uncheck the show libraries close this out and now it will open back up to this PC however <clears throat> I don't really like either of those options I really want it to open up to favorites because while libraries does give you some options, you can create all kinds of libraries to do a lot of different things. In favorites, I can put anything. I can put a link to a program. I even have a link to the modern metro screen, so I can go there. I can put it links to programs. I can put links to other libraries. So I can put anything in here where libraries, I can only create libraries. So. I really wanted to open up here where I can go anywhere on my computer very quickly uh, and easily. So I, I now if I take favorites and I drag them down to the taskbar and then pin it to taskbar, it doesn't do what I want. All it does is create it pins this uh, favorites to a jump list, and when I click it, it still opens up to this PC. I can right click now and open up favorites this way but that's an extra click. Uh, same thing if I wanted to do let's say C drive and I wanted to drag my C drive down here then it just creates another jump list. So but there is a way to to create uh, links or shortcuts to open up to any folder you want on your whole system. So there's a little trick to it. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So what we're going to first do is we're going to go to favorites and instead of dragging the favorites to the taskbar, we're going to drag it over here, right click and drag to the desktop and create shortcut. Now that's step number one. Step number two, which is the most important, right click and pin it to the start menu. Any folder that's pinned to the start Metro New Metro Start menu can then be dragged to the taskbar and pinned to the taskbar. And now we can actually delete this link. And now if I click on favorites, it opens up to my favorites. And we can see it's here in the Metro screen all the way down here it would have been to the end but I had it here already so um, and now let's do another one let's go favorites and let's go let's do uh, C drive so I'm gonna right click on C drive drag over here release create shortcut right click pen to start menu and then I can drag it to the to the test bar. let's do one more let's do it for, uh, users folder and I'm going to right click, create shortcut, then right click, pen to start, close this, drag this to the test bar, and well, did I get it? Okay, I have to get it pinned to the uh, start menu, and sometimes if I get in a hurry, I don't. Well, it's going to make a liar out of me. There we go. 
just didn't position it in the right place. Now we're going to delete these two because we don't need these. And go down here, and here's these two. I'll drag them down here to where my folders are at. Oops. Drag all the way down here to my folders. accidentally started up another program okay and now we've got this opens up to drive C this opens up to my users this opens up to my favorites and this is the normal uh, explorer with the any jump list that I want to create there okay that's it